Now I've been called to be here today because I was working on a project between the masculine and feminine and the harmonics that are being created between them. And I was receiving all these downloads and channeled information. And I was told to switch gears for a minute, put that on pause. So we will be having a reading between the fire and water energies. And to be here today with a message from our ancients. So I am here today with a message from our ancients and this is connected to our flames, our flame, and the shift. And that's what they've told me, the shift. They've also given me some channeled information. Let's go over this. Okay, guys, so I'm trying to reuse paper. So this is from another reading. I just have some channeled information covered up as to not make things confusing. Now, we know we're healing. We're always meeting up here to heal, harmonize, and raise the vibes. They've shown me this is connected to the energy of the star. And that's where our healing is taking place. And this is the alchemy of it. Right now, we're working with the Five of Wands energy. And this is conflict, but this is active conflict as it's the wand. So this conflict is within and without. Within ourselves and without in our environments. We're going to heal from this. With the Queen of Cups energy. And the Queen of Cups is helping us with our connection and our growth. In two ways right now. She's helping us with our oneness consciousness, connecting to the dark and the light in order to see the whole picture and create and shape shift with it, as well as the big picture consciousness. And this is being able to expand with the bird's eye view and see the big picture and see the big picture, not just the big picture in our situations, but the big picture dealing with time. You know, we just want everything fixed and we want everything fixed right now. But that's not how things work. We need to be able to add years onto things sometimes in order to actually heal and expand properly here. And that's something we don't want to hear when we're in the devil energies and we want things quick fix, quick fix. But we need to start shifting our perception and understand manifestation here, the processes many times take time. And we're okay with that because we're still creating within the meantime and what we're doing still matters. We still find the wondrous charge within the moment because you're never getting this moment back. You're living this moment right now and it matters. What you're doing here right now matters. Now, let's not get off track. We're going back onto the path of the moon. So, the moon is connected to the queen of cups and our growth in the dark on the path of the moon. This is key right now because we're growing in the dark and that's following the path of the light in the dark and not falling off of it. And that's why on the moon card many times there's the two wolves or the two ancient symbols of the gods on each side or whichever is on the moon card those beings are there to show us that we don't want to fall off the path of the moon into the mischievous mischievous energies because that mischief can get us trapped back in with the shadows and the devil energy so we want to keep on path so we're growing here we're going to continue to follow the light this is part of the transformation and it's connected to the crustacean energy. And being able to transform on the path of the moon in the dark. This right here is connecting us to the Divine Mother. And we are being offered protection from the Divine Mother through the renewal of balance. This is the information that they've shared with me. Now, this is where we make the shift. In doing this, we're working with the Four of Pentacles energy. And we're 
healing our solar plexus. And in healing our solar plexus and creating stability of the light with the pentacles, it connects us to the king of pentacles energy and this is where our forward movement is. And our forward movement is home. But this is connected to the ace of swords and our clarity. And this is the connection in the shift. Now let's get the messages that are connected to this. Alrighty. So that's that. Now, let's see what's happening. Let's get some messages. We guess we're starting right off here. Right, right now. Okay. And here it is. Healing the divine masculine. Osiris rises. And it's connected to the mother of life, nourishment of the golden grain mother. And that is connected to the portal of light. She glides on wings through time and space. And there's our connection. This is what they wanted us to see today. So this is why the channeled message was connected to time. I mean, when we actually under, like when we really start to play with time and time is not ruling our lives because time was designed to rule our lives in the matrix and it causes time anxiety and it's one of our burdens. But mm -mm -mm, we're not doing that. Twin flame star seeds were activating in order to see that time is something that we can play with. And it helps us shift. And not only does it help us shift, it's a tool. And we need to start using it as a tool to our advantage in our toolbox. This is what we're doing. Guys, this is a big message, but it's one that really needs to be shared and it's also incredible and it just goes to show the times we are in. And thank you once again to Spirit, to Source for listening and being here co-creating with us to show us the messages that we need to receive as well as thank you to the tarot and the beautiful oracle cards. Thank you. Thank you, creators. Alrighty. Healing the Divine Masculine. Osiris rises. The Divine Masculine within men and women is the energy that allows for protection, disconcernment, healing, and a sense of deep safety. And holding, even through the most uncomfortable circumstances of life. When the Masculine within us is healthy and strong, we have an inner strength to hold ourselves safe through anything. Your inner masculine is growing through healing right now, growing stronger in his ability to offer you inner protection and stability so that your inner feminine can blossom with creative expression. And isn't that incredible? Channeled message was, we're being offered protection by the great divine feminine but it's through the masculine. There's the connection. See guys, we're always connected. We are one and we are in, we are in such beautiful flow of creation. That's why it's so, so important that we untwist things around here. Blessed. The inner masculine and feminine need each other. We need each other. And that's what I mean. Guys, as much as we talk about like, how hard this path is, we need to start seeing the blessings of this path. Isn't it cool that we get to do this and shapeshift this? So we need each other, masculine, feminine. When they are in good inner relationships with us, 
We feel like healthy, whole human beings. And we are able to live our lives. And this is, I gotta get my words back. I, I was just, guys, this is such a blessing. Like here we are and I'm in the middle of working on, on, on a reading for the harmonics between the masculine and feminine. This is what they're showing me. This is what I've been seeing along my path and now it's coming true with us here. And this is why they wanted this reading today and now. Because this has to do with the relationship between the masculine and feminine. Like what a gift, what a blessing and wow, just to believe even more. Believe. This is incredible. Whew. We are able to live as ourselves in the world in a relatively peaceful, creative, and enjoyable way when we are in good inner relationships with each other, being healthy, whole human beings. When there is damage to the inner masculine, there is difficulty in standing up for our truths, in knowing what our truths and values are and in knowing how to protect them without feeling as though we have to fight constantly just to be allowed to be ourselves. And that's how we're healing from conflict and the five of wands. We might also feel that unless others see things as we do, we have no power and then have to fight to dominate others, manipulating them to our point of view. And this is not harmony. And this is also fighting to be seen, to be heard. And we're not doing that. This is about equality. And that's why the masculine and feminine went out to create the two of cups. The inner masculine part of us often needs healing so that he can fulfill his divine purpose of inner strength, protection, and honoring of the self in all of its uniqueness and that's also key in the shift because the ego games haven't allowed that the ego games have manipulated the masculine and feminine into believing that we act a fool and the fool knows because the fool is the court jester right and the court jester is actually really smart is really intelligent it's a woke ninja ready to activate while everybody else is asleep, that fool is activating in order to expand. And it's our uniqueness. It's rocking that shine. That fool's rocking his uniqueness, her uniqueness, rocking their shine, ready to transform on their divine path so that we can live happy and free, strong individuals that know who they are and are happy to just love and be that person and allow others to do the same. This will happen at any time he is asked to hold even more consciousness, to hold permission and strength to even be more of the unique self. So this is crumbling away those layers of the ego and allowing more of the flame to be present and shiny. And this is going to help with our connection together because as our flames go, grow stronger, our connection and the magnetism towards one another grows stronger. The masculine and feminine within us need to be in balance with each other. There is no point in having a powerful feminine with unique values and strong creative force without an equally strong mas masculine energy that is able to act upon those unique values. No matter what others may think and take action to allow the creative force of the inner feminine to flow into form into the physical world. And now that's allowing the feminine to take back her rightful place where she should have been all the time before things got twisted in the matrix. This is her taking back her rightful place to shine. And this is allowing the masculine to raise his vibration and heal and restore wholeness, nourish, nurture, and connect. To rise and shine, baby, it's rise and shine time. 
When your inner feminine is growing and desires to express her uniqueness in the world more boldly than ever before, the inner masculine needs to grow in self-belief, self-worth, and self-confidence so that he may take action to allow the blossoming feminine to truly be in the world will list feeling secure and safe. Now, this oracle has showed up today because it's indicating that your feminine self is blooming and your masculine needs to be able to protect and honor her. Guys, and I was really wondering where this message of protection fit in when I was channeling that information I wrote down. And now it all makes sense. And this is why I love doing what I do. Thank you guys for joining me to share here in this blessed just blessed now sometimes we have to work with the lower vibrational energies of hatred hatred fear and jealousy and that's what the feminine is here to help the masculine to heal from so he can turn to her and that's so why I was called to do and the reading is sitting over here. I was working on is forgiveness between the masculine and feminine because that's what I've been channeling. We need to forgive each other. And it's all connected to this pink full moon messages that I've been receiving in downloads that we're not on an equal playing field because we need to forgive each other. So now here's the connection. So the masculine needs to be able to go to the feminine and trust her and trust her that she's not going to backstab, betray him and lie to him it needs to be truth we need to be able to trust each other and have faith and belief like we can in the divine and that's why we're being shown these relationships with the divine first and we're being put in separation we're being put in separation so we can have all these challenges be in disharmonies be in the negative so that we can we can see the positive yearn for the positive expect the positive create with the positive find passion within the positive connect the two and transform and we're going to experience the the flip side in order to create the other side and then we do it and we we hang tight to that vibration on our connection with the divine like we're put in separation so that we can cultivate this trust and this love between the divine and the divine can show us a power that's greater than us, the truth, and that we'll have the truth in a reliable and stable way, even if it hurts because it's part of the path. So we need now our counterpart to do that for us. And right now it's the feminine and the feminine needs to hold tight with the light and integrity of the light and the truth of it. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And learn how to communicate the truth within a productive way. The negative truth within a productive way. And to not lie, deceit, and manipulate in order to achieve an outcome. That's where we need to change things. So that the energies we can become equal. And this is, does not turn into, you know, a pissing contest. Where now the feminine's like, oh, well, the masculine's got to do this, this, and this. And then the, ma the masculines, yeah, well, the feminine's got to do... No, this is what's happening right now between the energies of the fire and water in order to create balance and renew the connection because what we're doing is really important right now. This isn't a time for a contest, a pissing contest. This is a time where we just creating to build the golden ages. We're creating to... It's about the shift to do better. No excuses moving forward. All right, and as this happens, the masculine consciousness can be healed, grow stronger through his relationship to the inner feminine by adjusting and healing our own views of masculine energy so, so that our feminine is no longer willing to experience max masculine energy as violent, aggressive, unfeeling, or controlling. A healing shift begins. The divine inner feminine can then choose to relate to the divine inner masculine in a different way to hold a different vision 
and different beliefs of who he is, what he can do, and what his purpose might be. Choosing to experience him as a tender, protective, strong, disconcerting, and sta stabilizing energy. And look, so now the feminine gets what she needs in order to create a quality through this. Do you see how this works? So the masculine gets what he needs and the feminine gets what she needs. And this is happening within. And we know we have masculine and feminine energies within us and we're restoring this within us. And as we restore this within, it's going to happen without. And this is about honoring our feelings. And we're doing this creatively and spiritually. When the healing of this relationship begins to occur within us, our outer relationships also change and flow into a healthier expression. We begin to feel safe, protected, and strong enough to take risks and to live bold, expressive, truthful, and creative life with more energy and passion. And this is about inviting now the inner masculine to heal with the inner feminine and not for the inner masculine to be able to be considered weak for doing so. That we need to use a different approach to healing. This can be enough to set healing in motion. Taking persistence, determination, patience, and application for the damage, damage masculine within all of us and outside of us to be restored to glory. But with Isis to help us, great healing miracles are possible. So, masculine and femi feminine energies can do just that when they are all ultimately destined to do, which is to unite love and create harmony, bliss, and the peaceful fulfillment of inner wholeness. And this is all coming from a place of empowerment and peace, learning how to cut through the manipulations of the world, of relationships, and get straight to the truth of the matter. And that's everything we just discussed. And that's connected to the mother of life, nourishment of the golden grain mother. We can sometimes fall into existing and doing rather than truly living. We only know that this has happened when suddenly our life seems dry, depleted, filled with tasks, or it feels like we are stuck in a rut, or habits that may have been comfortable but is becoming stifling and suppressing. Isis, the mother of life, holds the ability to restore even the most numb, resistant, and difficult circumstances and people back into life. Thank goodness. Be bold, brave, and open your arms and receive. Think of this. We need this. We've been stuck in these winter slumbers and these energies of... We need to be woke up. Like, we need to be shaken up. We need things to be stirred up. We need to stir the pot a little bit. And in a healthy way, guys. And remember, humor is a vibration, okay? It raises it. It actually does. We just have to do it in a tasteful manner, right? But this is about now... We're gonna shake, shake, thing, shake things up a little bit. We're shifting, okay? And now we're shifting to a very, very sacred space. Portal of Light. She glides on the wings through time and space. It is only the physical reality that is bound by time and space. You are being conscious on levels beyond the physical world. You are guided to work with your healing powers beyond the confines of time and space and allow your sense of self to expand. It is safe for you to do this now. You will not become ungrounded through such spiritual growth. You are not leaving your earthly awareness. You are instead adding to it. So now we're gonna play with time. Yippee. So we're growing in power and awareness. You've had a breakthrough 
insights where you realize you are not who you thought you were. You are in fact a much vaster being. Sometimes this was shocking and uncomfortable and difficult to accept. At other times it was gentle and made much sense to you. Yes, sometimes we're crying in the bathroom, dark night of the soul, what's going on? Other times we're like, oh yeah, found that feather. Ooh, fall, that synchronicity. Ooh, there's a sign, 444, 1111, yeah, okay. You're learning to integrate this awareness of your vast self into your life. The practical consequences of doing so are extraordinary. To live with less and less fear and insecurity to become more detached and more passionate, more loving and less demanding, to need less and receive more. Now that's key. We need less, we receive more. To feel more joy and exert less force to attain it. Such a wonderful gift awaits us. Thank goodness, let's go, I'm ready. You are also becoming capable of exerting healing influence beyond time and space, which means you're being able to help free yourself and others if you choose to share your gifts of healing. You can learn to create freedom from trauma, attachment, history, and any other situation that may drain life force and distant and distract from divine love, no matter whether occurring in this or any other lifetime. Now, I love that because you know what? It says we can heal from history. And there are so many things within history that I would love to heal from you guys. And one of them being here, how much division has been caused through sex, race, and religion. That's one of the main things I'd love to focus on this channel because wow, what an illusion. What a bunch of shenanigans that is. We have been so lied to and we need to see that through that illusion and I love to heal from history and no, not allow history to repeat itself. And that's one of the messages I was working on in this other reading that I was preparing for is we're not going to allow history to repeat itself. We, we're going to know better. We're going to do better. We're going to create better. Now. There's a sacred ritual and we have a flame here. So I would like to say these sacred words, okay? Ooh, you know what? Before I do, this is connected to the Merkaba. This is connected to allowing ourselves to realize our healing powers. And once we do that, we're being guided by the loving blessings of Isis to assist you in this sacred interdimensional travel now for healing and understanding more growth and peace. This is connected to the Merkaba. Part of your particular soul gift is an ab ability to navigate between spiritual dimensions of reality. And we know all about the Merkaba here. We've been learning about it. Shifting from lower vibrations of fear and bringing through higher vibrations of love and to allow for peace and release. The combination of the Merkaba and the portal of light means you have the ability to not only navigate dimensions, but to bring higher dimensional awareness into the present moment moment for healing with a natural soul ability to be present in lower vibrational realities such as those of fear and of completion on earth at present and simultaneously be anchored in a higher vibrational soul reality of love peace and truth now that's key because guys remember we're star seeds and twin flames we came here on mission this is part of our mission part of our path well, we came here to anchor into this reality right now. Well, we came here to anchor in here for the grid of consciousness for the collective to feed from and to make these transitions when they wake. Okay? This makes us a powerful source of light. And the Lady Isis and her beloved star Sirius offer you divine peace and protection now to help you in the sacred task of being a star of divine light and presence on earth at this time. And this is a sacred message. My ear is ringing. My body is activating. This is it. 
Wow. I'm so glad I showed up here today. Now, it's time for the sacred words. In this light beyond time and space, I enter the portal of divine light and grace. I am free of shackles from this life or another. I surrender old fear to the divine mother. I now choose to be free of the past in the present light of spirit I now bask in the portal of light beyond all time. Love and light frees me into peace sublime. All right, we're gonna blow out the candle, but I will relight it. <sighs> That's part of it. And now it is done. Okay, guys, this is why I needed to be here today with you guys. Thank you guys for joining me. This is so important. Now let's get the rest of these messages. Guys, I've been sitting here this whole entire time wanting to discuss this card, but we have had three cards out, okay? And those messages, I know, they're going to be a little bit more in depth, but guys, sometimes we have to take the time and just get the information. This one right here. Power over seven scorpions, power to conjure lower vibrational forces. So that's what we're doing. We're healing and having that power to conjure lower vibrational forces. And it's connected to the key of life. Spinning the ankh, the key of life. This is what we're doing right now. This is what we're doing. Okay. Where are we going? We're going here. Already. I've been called to have very specific decks here and I've listened. So let's see what's happening. You know, guys, I couldn't find this deck for the longest time. And I'm glad I did because I missed it. The Cosmic Tarot. Then I found it. The Wheel of Fortune. And look at We're speaking of sacred geometry and the patterning that we'll be making. The Merkaba. And look at that sacred geometry right there. This is connected to the energy of the Zodiac. The whole entire Zodiac. The heavens. We're connected to the sun and the moon. It's connected to the number 10. It's connected to the number 10 right now and the fire and the water. And the fire and the water is connected to number 10 right now. I want, don't know what that means, but we're going to find out. This is connected to the ship. The wheel of fortune. And that's the missing card. You know what? Guys, I was channeling in the shower when I was writing this down and I was trying to remember the one last card and I couldn't remember the one last card there was one and it was the wheel and the wheel is right here the wheel is connected I'm gonna just write it in here and now I'm so glad the wheels here so the wheel is connected to the forward movement and the king of pentacles thank you so the wheel of fortune, the wheel turns and that's how the forward motion's happening. Cause I was like, well, there's no chariot. And they're like, no, no, the wheel's going to turn. I was like, okay, the wheel's turning. Cause we've created life. We're balancing the fire and water energies in order to create life. And we know we fertilize life. The three of wands we're manifesting. We're manifesting now cause we've turned the wheel. What are we manifesting? Guys, I'm so lit. I need to calm down a little bit. Like, wow, what incredible messages. I really was like, oh, I want to work on this other reading. And now I'm glad that I am here. 
there's the four of pentacles right there and how what we're walking away from and speaking of the chariot there it is so in this four of pentacles the masculine and feminine energies are not equal and the representation of them and there's a lot of representation here for some templates for some nasty templates we have this old rich powerful white man and this young vulnerable innocent dark woman okay and they're not equal and that's got to change that's got to change right now we're masters we're not in these templates these templates are sickening and it's time for them to go it's about our energy and what we're creating here. Goodbye. And we're moving forth to God and goddesses of the light. God and goddess energies. Equality. We're not in this. Now we've connected the dark and the light. We're seeing through the illusions. We're not going to get caught in those lies. We're not going to get caught in those lies between each other. We're soul tribe members. The color of your skin doesn't matter. The color of my skin don't matter. Your religion don't matter. Your energy matters. How you treat people matters. How you treat yourself matters. Do you have integrity? That matters. That matters to me. Then I want to join forces with you. I want to join forces with the light. And there is the Queen of Wands. There's the energy of Aries. There's the fire power, and she's naturally, we know, connected to the water and the fire. The water energy of the feminine in being the queen, and the masculine energy of fire as she's the queen of wands. And we're going to be doing some alchemy here with temperance. So there's a connection here, and let's find out to what. What? are we doing here temperance and it's connected to this deck right here let's see what we are activating in this guys we're building new templates between the masculine and feminine that's why we exist to show unconditional love that is a quality and of the divine of the light Please, not of these old templates between the masculine and feminine that are wounding us and keeping us in karmic loops. Please see through those illusions. And you know what? If you're stuck in an environment where there's sexism going on, where there's racism going on, remember what it's reflecting back to show to you that you don't want to create that. You want to do better and you know why because you've experienced the negative so put the positive charge this is what we're doing here with temperance and i didn't want two cards but they said guess what she has two cups and one's for each for what she's mixing in each cup so in one cup we're getting the energy of seeking beauty and that is a manifestation number and this has to do with temperance and in the other cup we're being shown show your support so let's see what we're mixing together this is a time to reflect on love and to seek out beauty create memories taking time to enjoy your experiences celebrations and special occasions the recollection of happy moments will support you Look not only in the world around you, but also within. Seek out the loving qualities that you appreciate about yourself. Search for your own beauty. Look at yourself and the world around you from a new perspective. So there's the positive charge right there. And this is connected to our flames. We need to add the positive charge. So we're going to find the beauties within the world. And this is also connected to the energy of Venus. And we know Venus is helping us to ground love right now. 
show your support. Take time to encourage a collective co-worker, family member, or friend. Be a strong shoulder or willing volunteer to run errands. Provide a safe space for another's concerns and feelings to be discussed and be a good listener. Jump in on providing extra time, sponsor someone else's work, share in someone's success. All of nature continually shows us the value of creating a strong network. The trees provide shelter and support for many different inhabitants. We are a community and when we support each other, everyone gains. So now this is showing support in the time we're in, in the time of need. And this is also us being in service. So now we've added two positive charges and we're on mission work, we're on point, right? So we're seeing and creating the beauty for the golden ages and the great shift. And we're also now being in service and creating with that positive charge, connecting to the divine, expanding with that. Okay, where are we going? I want, I guess we're going here. The shamans are speaking. The shaman of foresight and the journeyer. I am the shaman of foresight. I travel the road before you, bringing back reports of what lies ahead. I can teach you to see beyond the moment, to live in such a way that whatever new task you are undertaking, you're always ready to adjust accordingly. I prepare, I prepare the way ahead, ensuring that wherever your journey leads, you will enter into each new moment with clear intent and true perception. And this energy helps us towards our own destiny through obstacles and traps. And now we have the journeyer. I am the journeyer. I accompany you on every journey you take in search of your answers. I fly into the realm of spirit and encounter the beings who dwell there. The ancestors of all people and the guardians of our inherited wisdom and knowledge. I am the one who conducts you between the worlds through the caves of inspiration, taking you on journeys to find guidance for all you seek. Often I am silent, but when requested, I can bring my whole wide knowledge of journeying to bear on your question. Well, we're, we're journeying between worlds. And this is helping us between the flight between the worlds And whatever we're going to need. And it's going to help us with our perception of it along the way. And now our ancients are speaking. So let's just see what our ancients have to say. Alright, I'm going here. What do you have to say? Justice. This is about justice and thoth and the balancing of our karmic scales. Our alchemy, the alchemy to achieve the balancing of our karmic skills through justice and the written word. You know what, guys? It's incredible. We got the message of the scribe, okay, on the pink moon reading. And it just happened to be at a time where I started sharing my scripture, my divine scripture that's connected to my channeling. Now, here, he's reading things down. I noticed that the second I started writing things down and sharing it here, everything here was amped up. So it's part of the path. And we may not want to rate, but I'm finding out for myself this is part of the path. It's part of the manifestation process. And he is rating. He's rating it down. It's connected to scripture. What else is this connected to? I'm so happy I started writing things down to show to you guys. The tower. 
It's connected to the tower and what's being knocked out right now in the Great Shift. And this shift is to store the renewal of balance between the fire and water energies. And it's connected to the King of Cups and the Lovers. And the King of Cups is connected to the Queen. We know that, right? This is the Cups energy and being connected to the Oneness, the Divine, our gifts. Being able to nurture thyself, being able to nurture with our gifts, being able to heal and nurture with our gifts. And there's the connection. There's alchemy going on within this card and it's connected to the lovers. And the coming together of the masculine and feminine equally through true love, through truth, through doing what's right. There's no deception here. There's, there's no betrayal. There's no inequality. This is the dark and the light in the flow. And it happened through the energy of the hangman. And this is where the inequality was finished. This is where we let go of all those old templates we were talking about here. We let go of these old templates. They were beating us down. They were keeping us lower vibrational. They were keeping us here. This is why we're freeing. This is why we're using this energy in order to free. And it's, it's connected to the key to life. An everlasting life. And now here it is. We shift and we raise up and we expand. Here's the four of pentacles in this deck. Through these old templates that we let go of, we restore the four of pentacles energy we heal our solar plexus that's from the channeled information and this is the exact card that they showed me and we restore balance through our three of pentacle pals but now we've had the ace of pentacles and this is working with the energy of the ancients higher self the divine soul tribe members of the light and we're manifesting And there is the Ace of Pentacles. We saw through the illusion of the Seven of Cups. And we were gifted the Ace of Pentacles here. There's a connection here because we connected, we know, to the energy of higher self to be able to do this. So here's the Hierophant. And this is where we connect the inner child to higher self. This is where we just connect to higher self, period, period. And we connect the masculine and feminine energies. And with the Six of Wands, we're healing from the darkness. And here's the Emperor. And we know that that's connected to the energy of Aries. But it's also connected to our transformations, our third eye activations through the scarab beetle. And that's one of the reasons we're sitting here today. So let's find out what this has to do with. Because this is how we're connecting. What is this connected to? We know that we're healing the masculine energy. I just want to say it first and foremost before I start. This is about... Osiris rising. So this is where we're healing. What is it connected to? And it's it's allowing this. I just want to say it. It's allowing this. The renewal of the balance between the fire and water energies. Okay. That's way too many cards. I don't even want to see them. All right. 
because we need a reshuffle. Let's get a reshuffle. This is going to be a very, very, very sacred activation. All right. Let's have everything present we need. Okay. There we go. Thank you, Spirit. All right. The Eagle, Strength, and Jellyfish, Flow. You need strength to flow. And th this is masculine and feminine energy right here. Eagle. Strength. Air. Kin essence. True strength is displayed in the recovery process, not the initial action. The eagle teaches us the lesson of perseverance in the face of apparent failure, inviting us to remain emotionally resilient to challenges and setbacks. We can learn that a sign of strength is often not how intensely we come into contact with something, but more how about, about how we recover from it. And there is healing from conflict in the five of wands right there and connecting us equally to the feminine energy. Jellyfish flow water. Kin essence, surrender to your internal ebb and flow. The jellyfish teaches us that the importance of letting go, surrendering and rolling with the natural ebb and flow of the tides of our life. Physically, although consisting of mainly water and having a gelatinous form, they are powered and protected by their hydrostatic skeleton, which allows them to absorb oxygen through the water and to receive information that helps detect predators and prey. The jellyfish is the most energy efficient animal on, on earth. Now there's all of our symbolism right there. And we have air energy, which is masculine. It's the sun energy. You know, and pentacles is the daughter. Air is the sun. And we've got the water energy being the feminine and the mother energy. So we're, we've connected the energies right there. And we're using our strength to be in the flow. And what we just said, that these energies are helping us too. They're helping us to transmute the shadow energies with our light by being, we know we're being in higher states of, of consciousness and being, but we're going down lower vibrational in order to transmute it. It's part of how we're helping Mother Earth shift and raise the vibes around here for the collective. We're helping to transmute these lower vibrational energies. And this is why we need to use our, the ego, the strength, and not how we react to things, but how we heal from what's happening and then to transmute the lower vibrational energies and even in order to even feel them to begin with, it, with the energy of the jellyfish. Okay, we're doing many incredible, spectacular things. Now, let's see where we're going. We're moving forth. Seven of Cups, we're seeing through some illusions. Yes, you know what? We can't get bored of seeing through our illusions and just get back into them. This is taking us straight back to the devil energies. We're transmuting. And there's the three pentacles that we were creating with to get to the four. Right there. And there it is confirmed through our strength. And now we've got the bird and the lion. And it's connected to the princess of wands.
And this is the more youthful energy of the Queen of Wands. So we have the energy of youth and the more mature energy. And this is the equality. This is the equality that we need. You know what? That youthful energy doesn't see sex, religion, or race. It's not looking at the color of our skin. It's just looking at our energy. And this is reminding the mature energy to do so. There's a message within here and it's connected to this deck. And I want to know what it is and then we're going to say goodbye. What is this connected to? Truth unveiled. The revelation of Isis. And there it is. It's connected to our truths. Truth unveiled, the revelation of Isis. There are times when appearances of people, places, and things are truly deceptive. You will sense this when something feels uncomfortable within you. When you notice feelings of anxiety or doubt within you, you may think there is something wrong with you, but actually you are intuitively sensing that all is not as it appears to be. It is wise to trust your inner feelings rather than being convinced by outward appearances. There is a situation in your life, especially involving relationships, where something is not as it is being made out to be. To avoid undue suffering later on, Isis is guiding you to the truth and the revelation now. And there it is. They're seeing through the illusion of the Seven of Cups. And why we're not going to be bored we're not going to be sitting here bored there's a reason why we're doing this we're the woke ninja this revelation of isis is needed when something or someone is not as it outwardly appears to be no matter how sacred it may seem a spiritual person a family relationship a shared history there are times when although it is more painful to admit the truth in the short term, in the long term, it will save you much suffering and feeling of being duped, misleaded, manipulated, used, or abused. It will also make it more likely that the situation or relationship can grow into a healthier expression, if possible. You cannot heal what is not revealed. Isis is here now to help you realize the truths and to admit that you probably already sensed it anyway and to make a wise use of these revelations now. And this is so much of why I started this channel. Because I wanted to help heal from these truths. I wanted to help heal what history didn't, had done. I wanted to help heal with what I'd seen without me so many years in my life. I want to create equality. I want us to be equal. I don't want to be caught in the separateness of sex, race, religion, and the ego games. And, you know, even who has more money than anything. I wanted want to create equality i want hearts to matter i want energy to matter i want love to matter i want integrity to matter i want mother earth to matter and doing what's right to matter that's why i meet you guys here and that's what this is about that's why we do this work and we shape shift and we're here and we're of the light because this matters just being seen for our energy and who we are, it matters. That's all we want. We just want to be seen for who we are. Now we got to start seeing other people for who they are. we got to start looking past the illusions of what it looks like. And we got to get to what it is. And we got to use our sensing techniques, our tools, and get to the energy and vibration of the matter so that we can really transform things around here. And we're going to stop getting caught in the, caught in the 3D matrix bullshit of what things look like this oracle of truth unveiled speaks of a sign sign of a time and a sign soon to come when you will release true perception what you thought was trustworthy legitimate or reliable may turn to sand 
crumbling before your eyes. And for many of us, this could be whatever it is that needs to go away that was not of truth. And you know what? I Before I sat down, there was channeling castles in the sand, castles in the sand. And I thought I just needed to go dance to that song and rave to it. And now I know why. And this can be connected to a friendship, a job, a loved one, a people, a person, a thing, a habit, whatever that is not for your truth. It's been a lie. Connected to the devil energies. And this is for us to release and to see what we need to see. And this is connected to Osiris. Isis was betrayed by her brother who out of his great jealously murdered beloved Osiris. Now Isis was able to demonstrate great spiritual strength and healing power to resurrect her beloved Osiris and all was not lost. She also learned a painful and valuable lesson that it is wise to take our intuitive feelings seriously and to recognize a snake in the grass when there is one. She was pregnant with her divine child Horus. She ran and hid from Set recognizing that he was destructive and dangerous, honoring what she knew and not pretending that it would all just be fine. In doing so, her child was able to be born. And this is trusting our instincts. And this is being able to see through someone's motives or intentions. Now, we're going to say these sacred words in order to help us with this. Gift me with your vision now. End the distortion of the vow that blocks the eye within my brow. I receive the knowing clear without doubt, shame or fear. Lies and deceptions disappear. Revelation of Isis come to me swift. Thank you for the sight, the truth, the gift. Confusion into clarity, I now do shift. And there we go. We've said the sacred words connected to the shift and we're ready to shift. Thank you guys for joining me here with your light. And remember, we are all children of the sun. You are all equal here to me. How you're creating matters. Your light matters, your energy matters, your love matters. Much love and healing vibes sent your way to create with today. I'll see you soon. At this reading that I'm working on next, Take care. I want you to see the card that's on the bottom of the deck. And they have said that this is a specific message for us. And I will be doing a reading dedicated to this message. Um, after I do the reading um, connected to the masculine and feminine. And the balance of the harmonic between the fire and water energies. This is connected to... Being in a community of the spiritual sisters and brothers of the light. And that's what we are building and forming right now together here, you guys. Thank you.